He's been a bit edgy during the, the previous matches and whatever. He got through, but that's what matters. He's here. Now he's leading 5 0 in for the semi final. Thank you, Mark Selby to break. And it's fair to say that Murphy didn't really do much wrong at all in the first two or three frames, but signs that mentally he's struggling now to keep the belief. Missed a couple of balls that he really should have potted in the previous frame. Missed a chance to win the one before the interval when he missed a tricky pink. And perhaps that was the moment. If he'd have closed to 3 1 behind at the break, could have been a very different story. As it is, he's got to produce something really quite miraculous now. Yeah, he isn't it? He'll attack. He'll just go for it now. There's no point in just like him messing around. Just, just attack, see what happens. The point of no return. Murphy has enjoyed only 37% of the table time, and enjoyed is the wrong word. Selby has really monopolised the green bays today. Murphy's only break of significance, a 48 in the fourth frame. Wasn't enough to win it, of course. Selby, though. A couple of half centuries, an 86 and a 104. Well, that one was some way out but once again look at where he's got the cue ball and he holds up his hand yeah slightly embarrassed because <laughs> he's played well but he's had a lot of rub with it as well Murphy will keep battling, you can be certain of that. He's not a quitter by any stretch. Not bad. Well, even though he's 5 nil up, you can guarantee this guy won't take any unnecessary risks. He wants a 6 nil scoreline here against a top-class player like Sean Murphy. Hang on. That would look nice on his CV. Well, I'm sure Murphy hasn't been whitewashed very often in his career. Chance here, though. That'll make him feel a bit better. Well, he's finished straight on the blue, but no problem. Just drop it in for that red into the ball pocket. And that'll be Murphy's first goal, of course, to avoid the dreaded whitewash, restore some pride and try and build from there. Very much one shot at a time from here on in. Yeah, three levels, isn't it? Avoid the white, the whitewash, make the score look respectable, and then go on to win the match. <laughs> Piece of cake. Six. <laughs> Seven. Black's tied up, they can hold for the pink here. Twelve. 
13. Just move the red away from the pink spot with this shot. That's a great shot. He's moved both of them actually. Just getting himself a little bit more room around the pink spot. This is a good chance. 19. There's only been sort of scraps really offered up to him in this match so far. 20. He's lost the white there a little bit. Let's see about how fast these tables are. Phil, you know, you, you get a trace aside on the white and, you know, you just didn't go too far with the white. Good recovery, though. Yes, it really flew, didn't it? It's very much a game of touch these days. Much more so than it was in the 80s and even the 90s. Oh, my goodness. Well, sure, you've got to feel five. some sympathy for Murphy. He's just not shown up today. The chances he has had have gone begging. Has he got a kick? Well, well the red slightly jumped. Such a mentally tough place to be in when you're so far behind. Things have gone against you. You've missed one or two balls you would one. normally pot. Things just get harder and harder. And although they are great friends, Selby, Seb. the consummate professional that he is, knows he's just got to be ruthless okay. here and try and polish off the match as quickly as possible. Well, it looked a little wide, and at that pace... There's no margin for error into these championship centre pockets. That's a real let-off for Murphy. One. Well, Selby's played very well today. He's missed one or two. But he hasn't been punished. Will he be punished this time? Yes, purely because of the lack of table time. We keep saying it, but that's what it's all about. Good cannon, but again, a little bit unlucky just to see the white go away from the red slightly. Might play Ten. this right hand red. This isn't a gimme under pressure. No, you could certainly rattle this. Good call, Phil. Sean Murphy, 10. Now, he may have had a bit of luck there because he's covered the two straightforward reds, or at least I think he has. So I'll be just checking to see if that one passes into the yellow pocket. Perhaps the scrappiest frame so far. So I'll be then just a frame away from another Masters final. Trailing by 27 points. Nope. One. 
Well, just look how responsive this cloth is. We've said it's a new refit overnight, new bed cloth, new cushion cloth, and it's... Uh, well, it, it didn't intend to land there, of course. This is missable. Well played. Still some work to do for Murphy to get that elusive opening frame on the board. Well, it threatened to stay out. And given the day he's had so far, he might be a bit surprised to see it drop. Didn't look great at that stage, but just managed to drop in. Well, again, he slightly lost the white there. He played the, rare, the pink into the centre pocket. Might have to play it to the corner now. Two more reds required. And he's missed the pink. So Murphy, 14. Yeah, if Murphy had been on song and into his stroke, he'd have potted that, no trouble. But it's just not happened for him today. Oh, he looks a little bit demoralised now, doesn't he? He does. I mean, you've got to, you know, as a prof professional performance, for a sports person, you've got to give credit to Mark Selby because he's really kept the pressure on. Still got plenty to do, though, if he's going to wrap it up in this frame. 40 behind, 51 left, but the red's not promisingly placed right now. Black off its spot. Good pot. It's Three. still a tough red. Mark Selby, three. Well, the problem he's got here, if the black was available, it would have been 39 and 46, but he needs to colour off this red to leave um, Mark needing a snooker. Well, he's half stunned it. One. Well, just not the blue in. Just to make it 44 the lead, 43 on. Flipper. Well played. Great relief for Murphy. Yeah. Well, he's not quite out of the woods yet, Phil. I know what you mean, because Mark only needs that one snooker, Six. but... Because the way things have gone this afternoon, anything could happen. That's a good shot. Especially if he gets a cannon into the pink. From Murphy six. Uh, I don't know whether he's quite got the snooker, but it's a good safety. No, he hasn't. I think it could be good though. Don't, doesn't want to hit this too thick. Oh, he has done. Oh, dear me. Oh, he's been lucky. How lucky was that? Yep, he certainly enjoyed what good fortune there's been. Possibility to get him behind the black here. Imagine if he, if he does that. Oh. Just the one snooker required for Selby. He's not hit it. That was a good chance as well.
one. I don't understand that one. Because if he's going to take it on, he's got to try and get down for the black. I think he's trying to get on the blue, which, OK, that's fair enough. One snooker, but he will need two snookers now if he pops this green. Well, why take the red on and not try and get onto the black? There's always the free ball situation. Four. Just looking at the average shot time here, Phil, you know, it's 23 for Mark and 28 for Sean. And that just shows you how he has struggled in this match. Not struggled, but been kept out, really. Normally, he's, he's about the same, is he? 23, 24. Well, is this one of the snoopers? So, you know, because of the lack of table time, that's why he's up to 28 seconds. Yes, many times he's come to the table facing a very tough safety, hasn't he? Which has required a lot of thought. He's by no means a sluggish player, Murphy, when he's in full flow. He has a terrific rhythm around the table, but he's never had the opportunity to get that today. Anxious to see the back of this frame. So close to clinching it. Well, I think there were a big cheer go up once he, uh, if he does win this frame, like uh, Robert Milkins did the other evening with Ronnie. And again, an opportunity here to get off the side cushion in behind the black. Great attempt. This just underlines, though, doesn't it, what a tough match player Mark Selby is. I'm sure there are many players 5 0 up with the target at six who would have conceded, but. He wants to battle this out, still believes he can turn this frame around from two snookers required and complete the whitewash. Well, that's how it's done, Mark. <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> that really should uh, just secure this frame then. His first frame. Needing two snookers, now facing one. I'm sure if he misses this, he'll hold up his hand. And it's not an easy one to hit. No. I'm sure it'll be, let's get on with the next one. And I'm sure there'll be a good round of applause as well. Ah. Foul. Oh. Murphy for. I think he's conceded the frame. Anyway. Conceded. Yeah, frame just check with Murphy. And a huge cheer for Murphy. And he can afford himself a smile, I'm sure. Mark Selby still just one frame away then from a place in another Masters final and the chance to successfully retain the title he won 12 months ago but Sean Murphy has at least got one on the board he stopped the rot after Selby won the first five on the spin very scrappy six frame both players missed a hatful but Murphy eventually got over the line and that will be a huge relief to him but it's that man Selby who's really dominated proceedings this afternoon he's played his best match of the tournament and the only question now is whether Sean Murphy can make the score look a little more respectable Surely you can't turn around a 5-0 deficit against an informed defending champion. Thank you, frame seven. If he did, Sean it would be Murphy one of the greatest break. achievements of his already illustrious career. Frame seven, then.
Well, it was a tough pot. Selby not playing quite as well now as he was in the early stages of the match when his snooker was nigh on faultless in all departments. But he does have that very healthy cushion. Bit of extraneous noise from the back of this giant is arena. Is the door shut there? We can. Is that door shut? Kayla Tab just checking to see if the doors are closed. It's coming through the PA. We've got. Uh... It would seem that there's some noise coming through the public address system, so a slight delay in play here. Murphy certainly needs maximum concentration if he's going to turn this situation around. <laughs> yeah, good safety. Cue ball tight to the cushion. be in line for a re-ruck situation here with that red over the left centre pocket. Yeah, I think we might be heading there, Phil. Had one or two this week already. I think Michaela will let this run for a little while. And see how it develops. Doesn't want that in. Oh, well, that's careless. Mark Sell before. He knew he had to get the white over that side of the table, but didn't have to go that far. One. Good chance this then for Selby to put the match away. Nine. 
Well, he's gone to get on to that left-hand red and he's played it beautifully. What a shot that is. Great judgment of pace. 70. Just look at that. I mean, two cushions and to land there. Great touch. He's not going to give up this Masters title without a hell of a fight. I mean, you know, just look at the lineup. I mean, it's the best of the best, you know, against one of the best players in the world this afternoon. He's, you know, you've got Stephen Murphy against Ronnie O'Sullivan this evening. It takes some beating. Um, sorry, Stephen Maguire. I think I wish. I think I said to Stephen Henry. I think Stephen was hoping he would be. Who's this Stephen Murphy character? I've heard he's useful, but yeah. So Steve Maguire, sorry Stephen, against Ronnie O'Sullivan. Another great match to look forward to. Yeah, Maguire was on song last night, wasn't he, in dispatching Neil Robertson, the world number one? He was. Looking forward to watching that one this evening as well. 32. You know how well O'Sullivan's playing. But um, the defending champion here, a little matter for him to try and clinch this match. 33. Uh, had he gone too far on the black? He has. He's got a shot on the pink. He has. Well played. These points, the result of that poor safety from Murphy. 39. He started the match with a mistake with his break off, sat out the rest of that frame. And that rather set the tone, but that red has stayed out. It wasn't a gimme, it was an ideal position, but he has begun to miss one or two Selby in the last frame or so. Sean Murphy's highest break of this match remains just 48. You'd have got long odds on that at the start of the battle. And to make matters worse for him, he left that red. Selby's on the black. That's a great shot. He's straight back in. Yeah, the, unfortunately for Sean, again, it's just the table time today, and when he's had the half chance, he hasn't been able to punish. It can happen. Nine. Edging towards the winning post then, Selby. One more loose red. Chose to split the bunch. It was a pretty good shot. Yes, he had the single red he could have played on. We still got 16. one to the centre here. He can just run through the gap for the brown. Well, if he gets this one, it might be all over. Blue and pink out of commission. But he has a chance to get down onto the brown. He's got it. He's just been too solid today, Phil, hasn't he? And there's his wife, Vicky. She'll be happy with her husband's performance this afternoon. And uh, I asked you the night, I don't know how he can sit in the audience, Vicky. <laughs> she said, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Oh. Needs to go though. Ooh, well now then. 21. That looks suspiciously like end of break to me. Yep. 64 the lead, but there are still 83 on the table.
so close you can taste it. Winner of this title on three occasions, including last year, looking to successfully retain his crown. But there's a measure of just what a tough match player Mark Selby is. Frustrated that he didn't get position on the red, which would surely have seen him clinch the frame, but he's played a good safety. That's not too shabby, though, is it? shot on here for Sean he could play this pink full ish screw back to bulk or the bulk cushion and try and split those three reds but you can't guarantee where they're going to finish clever shot Sean Murphy won. yes he played it well didn't he getting the cue ball tight to the bulk cushion let's change things a little bit Selby with a commanding 63 point lead but if Murphy can get in Chance to make big inroads into that deficit. Well, he really needed that white to be tied to the cushion. This is a chance for Sean, but again, it, it, can he take it? It's so difficult when you've been sat in your chair for long periods of time and then come to the table and try and make a substantial break. Well played. Well, that's the nature of the beast, Phil, isn't it? You know, he's sitting out those periods of time and then coming to the table and playing well. <coughs> Not as if like the tennis, the ball's been, you know, you can knock it back over the net. Yeah, good point. And even the frame that Murphy has managed to win today was a very scrappy, bitty affair, wasn't it? So... Seven. He's never really managed to get into a rhythm. Mentioned just now, his highest break so far, just 48 in a losing cause in frame number four. Sorry. Eight. A frame he really should have won. Great rest player, though. Just looking to nudge that red off the cushion. Slip past the edge of it, but he still has this one. But you can't keep knocking in those Shall tricky rest 20, shots. His misread then means that Mark Selby is 40 points in front with 51 left. 
Red and pink will be enough. This is frame and match ball. The defending champion. And he will be delighted with this victory. In it goes. Didn't bother with the position on the red. He just wanted that pink. So barring snookers, it's Mark Selby Seven. and not that man, Sean Murphy. He'll be going into tomorrow's final. Mark Selby, sir. Murphy will, of course, battle on. Just the one snooker required as things stand. Although he needs two to win, one to tie. There's Vicky again. She'll be very pleased with her husband's work to this point. We see the Alexandra Palace fall to the rafters, and it will be again this evening for our second semi final. Ronnie O'Sullivan against Stephen Maguire. Just under 1500 full capacity here. far away from clipping in the yellow and that would have surely been curtains Mark Selby knows it of another Masters final. And if that goes in, well, not far away from the right centre pocket. But this is a chance for Selby. Yeah, it's cuttable. Got to be careful here that if he misses this red, he could go down and knock the yellow in. But uh, if this goes in, I think Sean will off the handshake. It's there. Well, a very polished performance here, Phil, from the defending champion. It's got to be said. A thoroughly deserved victory, there's no question about it. A surprisingly one-sided semi-final after the form that Murphy showed against Ding. Five. And in particular against Fu. Many felt that he might go all the way to a first Masters title. But he was frozen out in the early stages and he never Mark managed to five. establish a rhythm. He didn't make a 50 break all match and that's the difference. But these two are great friends and Murphy warmly congratulates both Sean Murphy and the crowd for the support they've shown both players this afternoon. But it's Mark Selby, the reigning Masters champion, who has come off with a resounding 6-1 victory against the 2005 world champion, Sean Murphy.